Maiden Lal Karana the 15th of October 1936 to the 27th of October 2018 was an Indian politician also was chief minister of Delhi from 1993 to 1996 He also served as governor of Rajasthan in 2004 He was the union minister of parliamentary affairs and tourism in the Adil Bihari Vajpayee government He was a member of Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh and Bharatiya Janata Party Early life Karana was born on 15 October 1936 in Lyalpur, Punjab Province British India now called Faisalabad in Punjab, Pakistan to S. D. Karana and Laxmi Devi. Karana was barely twelve when the family was forced to migrate to Delhi by India's partition and began to piece its life together again at a refugee colony Kurdi Nagar in New Delhi. He took his bachelor's degree from Kirori Mal College under Delhi University. Topic: Political career. Topic: As a student. Karana had his training in politics at Allahabad University, where he was doing his post-graduation in economics. He was General Secretary of the Allahabad Students' Union in 1959 and became General Secretary of the Ukhil Bharatiya Vidyarthi Parishad in 1960. <laughs> Jan Sang As a youth, Karana became a teacher with Vijay Kumar Malhotra, at PGDAV evening college before deciding to enter politics. Maidan Lal Karana, Vijay Kumar Malhotra, Kedar Nath Sahani and Kanwar Lal Gupta founded the Delhi chapter of the Jan Sangh, which in 1980 transformed into BJP. Karana was the Jan Sangh's general secretary from 1965 to 1967. He dominated first municipal corporation politics and then the Metropolitan Council where he was the chief whip, executive councillor and leader of the opposition by turns. <laughs> Rise of BJP BJP suffered badly in 1984 general elections, held after the death of Indira Gandhi. Karana is credited with reviving the party in India's capital, New Delhi. He worked tirelessly, which earned him the title of Dili Ka Sher Lion of Delhi. He was the Chief Minister of Delhi from 1993 until he resigned in 1996. The party declined to reinstate him and preferred staying with Sahib Singh Verma. He, along with Kedar Nath Sahani and Vijay Kumar Malhotra, kept the party afloat in New Delhi for more than four decades spanning from 1960 to 2000. The peak of his career saw him serve as the Union Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and Tourism in the Vajpayee government, before resigning in January 1999, owing to a fallout with the senior leadership of the party following a series of attacks on Christians that were blamed on Hindu groups. He also served as the governor of Rajasthan from the 14th of January 2004 to the 28th of October 2004 when he resigned to return to politics in Delhi after about half a dozen MLAs from Delhi went up to him in Jaipur Raj Bhawan requesting him to return to active politics on the 20th of August 2005 Karana was removed from the BJP for indiscipline for publicly criticizing BJP president Lal Krishna Advani and expressing inability and discomfort at serving with him on 12 September 2005, he was taken back to the party and given back his responsibilities after he apologized about his remarks about the party's leadership. On 19 March 2006, he was again expelled from the primary membership of the BJP for his anti party statements. Karana spoke against the party leadership when he announced that he would attend expelled Saffron Party leader Uma Bharti's rally in Delhi. Karana left the BJP, accusing her of not helping solve his cause as committed of giving weight to his mission of developing Delhi. Criticism <coughs> 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 In 1991, an arrest linked to militants in Kashmir led to a raid on Hawala brokers, revealing evidence of large-scale payments to national politicians. Those accused included L. K. Advani, V. C. Shukla, P. Shiv Shankar, Sharad Yadav, Balram Jakar, and Maidan Lal Karana. 
The prosecution that followed was partly prompted by a public interest petition and yet the court cases of the Hawala scandal eventually all collapsed without convictions. Many were acquitted in 1997 and 1998, partly because the Hawala records including diaries were judged in court to be inadequate as the main evidence. The Central Bureau of Investigation's role was criticized. In concluding the Vineet Narain case, the Supreme Court of India directed that the Central Vigilance Commission should be given a supervisory role over the CBI. Personal life Karana was married to Raj Karana. Together they had four children. One of his sons, Vimal, died in August 2018. Two months later, at 11 p.m. East, on the 27th of October 2018, Karana died at his residence in Kurdi Nagar, New Delhi, aged 82. He had suffered from a brain hemorrhage five years prior to his death and had been ailing since then. Topic. See also. Karana Cabinet